Okay, well, we finally made it to uh, 49 degrees north. Sunny day and uh, take a look around the area. Uh, looking at the map in general, I would say there's a, a lot more green runs here in general compared to the Sister Mountain, which is Silver Mountain. I will say though that 49 degrees north is kind of like the Wicked Stepsister in respects to availability and how you get to the mountain. Um, although there's only a two and a half mile road once you kind of come off the state highways and stuff, um, it's rather twisty, rather windy, and it looks like with on a snowy day, the maintenance on the road could be pretty tough. And uh, you're gonna slow down, and again, you're on a mountain road, which is indicative of 49 degrees north, Mount Spokane, and Schweitzer Mountain. One of the advantages of Schweitzer Mountain on that mountain road is that you can take a bus from the bottom, leave your vehicle at the bottom, not have to worry about that two-lane road, and people that don't have proper tires to get up there. So if you enjoy mountain roads, then uh, 49 degrees north, uh, Schweitzer, and Mount Spokane would be your trip. If you don't enjoy mountain roads, then I would suggest that you go to Silver Mountain or Lookout Pass. Lookout Pass, you walk directly off the interstate uh, to the parking lot, walk up about 25 foot hill. Everything else that I've experienced uh, has the, uh, the heartache hill to walk up from the parking lots. Again, that would be Mount Spokane, that would be 49 degrees north, and also Schwe uh, Schweitzer. So your convenience of close to the ski hill is Lookout Pass the best, Silver Mountain next, why Silver Mountain at the end of that one? Silver Mountain, if you forget anything at the bottom of the mountain, you will be going back down the gondola, one, one hour trip to regain anything you've left in your car. So that's somewhat of a disadvantage. If I had to look at the mountains in respect to uh, green runs and availability for low level riders and beginners, I would say that uh, Lookout Pass has one of the best green run areas. Next would be uh, probably Schweitzer. Uh, next would be 49 degrees north, uh, then Mount Spokane, and at the end would be um, Silver Mountain. Silver Mountain has limited green runs, and that is a fact. Uh, and, and it gets a little boring for people. Also, grooming-wise, I'm gonna say this. Uh, grooming-wise, I'll give Lookout Pass the star on that this season. Uh, outstanding grooming. Next, I would say I will give it to Schweitzer. After that, I will give it to uh, 49 degree north. After that, I will go to Mount Spokane, and at the bottom of the grooming pile will be Silver Mountain. I work there, but I have to say some of the worst grooming I've seen in 25 years. Hopefully, they'll get some technique and get better. Uh, currently, it is tough. Well, Price-wise, as far as lift tickets and things go, I would put it in the order of best price, Lookout Pass, probably 49 degrees north, uh, after that might be, um, um, would be Silver Mountain, Schweitzer on the high end of all those tickets and stuff. So I hope this report is of some value to you. Snow sports schools, I say they're all about the same, except for the fact that uh, Lookout Pass has the advantage of teaching a chair on the beginning lesson uh, because it, it is a low, low level chair beautiful to learn and when you go to the big chair you're already prepared. Many of the others are using carpets. Uh, I would say that Mount Spokane is second on that lift. They have a nice uh, long lift for beginners on that, very low, beautiful inlines and step-in areas. The attendants are excellent. Uh, they also have a 75 foot carpet there right next to the chair. So I give them the next place. Uh, after that I'm kind of looking over here today at 49 degrees north. Got a pretty good little area here for the beginners at the bottom of the mountain. Uh, and uh, Schweitzer has opened up a flat area to help that out. It has uh, two, I believe, two carpets over there now on uh, what they call uh, the Magic Hill or the Magic something. And uh, after that, we would say that's pretty much the rundown. So uh, hope you guys like this. Hope it's valuable to you guys. Make the choice whether you want mountain roads, convenience, boom, bang, and have a nice day. Thank you.
There's another great plus that they have here at uh, 49 degree north. Got a tunnel with a carpet, uh, keep you out of the weather. Uh, couldn't be better. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, Silver Mountain should take a look at this and uh, should bring it in. Being that they are uh, sister mountains owned by the same owner, this would be quite a fix for uh, the Silver Mountain down, uh, the Silver Mountain carpet, providing uh, for the Tubing Hill and the Beginner Hill. So check it out. Well, I pretty much have to uh, kind of come back on myself on the statement here. Uh, 49 degree north actually has one of the nicest uh, phasing beginner runs uh, in the area. You've got a little carpet that has a straight run to the left side of it. You've got a little bit of flat area above that. Moving across from there to the right, across the mountain here, you open up into a nice little intermediate, low intermediate run, and a beginner run that's just very wide, very easy to, uh, to come down and work into the intermediate stages. Uh, working on skills that uh, the upper part of the mountain might cause you some difficulties on. It's actually beautiful. Um, it is a very progressive lower area. It, uh, it puts Silver Mountain to shame uh, for the beginner hill use and the green runs. I have to say that. So there are signs over here with the stepsister, wicked stepsister of greatness. Um, other than the mountain road. I just can't get over to the mountain road. I'm so used to uh, stepping out of the car, loading in a gondola, step out of the car, walk 25, 30 feet and be on the mountain. Um, this mountain road stuff just reminds me too much of back east and my five hour trips to ski eight hours to uh, drive home the same day uh, on that. So uh, anyhow, so for Ted and guys looking out, Ted's not here today. Uh, this is a beautiful run to practice low-end skills, even your carving, and check out your tracks. Uh, love it so far.